everyone it is danny and welcome to this update video this afternoon i really hope that you have been enjoying your day now we're going to be taking a look at what is happening across the caribbean as well as the u.s there is a significant storm system developing that is already impacting some states and will continue to bring its impact through the next couple of days there's that threat of tornadoes damaging winds which could be up to hurricane force so we're going to be taking a look at the forecast and in terms of the Caribbean, we'll be looking at what is expected as it relates to rainfall activity, the wind forecast for later today, as well as the wave heights forecast. Now, before I go into it, uh, after watching this video, you can go ahead and check out my latest post to my second channel, Weather Extras. As you can tell from the thumbnail of it here, it delves into the reasons behind why uh, Haiti is such a disaster zone and it comes on to certain natural phenomena so you can go ahead and check it out and you can share your thoughts there in the comments as well but let's go into what's happening right now across the atlantic we can see that major storm system developing and we're going to be looking at the u.s in a lot more detail momentarily however let's kick start things with the caribbean so here we can see these patches of clouds which are making their way in coming in from the east are uh, being carried by the trade winds and with that there is some rainfall activity some intermittent showers across portions of the southeast islands as of when i'm recording islands such as saint vincent saint lucia earlier in barbados as well have experienced some rainfall activity and this is going to be the case for a bit and even other areas such as uh, as we head toward the caribbean coast of central america we can see those patches of clouds moving in which may bring with them some showers as well but overall there isn't a major low pressure weather system which is bringing significant impacts to the caribbean there is that front we can see the associated activity up to the bahamas turks and caicos islands a whole lot is not happening either Looking at the rainfall forecast as we're going to be heading into tomorrow morning, though we can see that the areas in the Caribbean expected to be the most active include the Southeast Islands, again, the Windward Islands, even near the ABC Islands. So, as I said, that trend is going to be continuing with these patches of clouds coming in from the east, which may bring those intermittent showers, some of which may be moderate or even heavy at times. And uh, as we head toward the Leeward Islands, though much is not expected, scattered showers for the most part across the uh, the Greater Antilles, rather, including the Cayman Islands, the Virgin Islands as well, and over into some spots in Central America. But for many areas, it's going to be quite dry with very uh, little rainfall activity. Similar story for the Bahamas and the Turks and Caicos Islands. Now, looking towards northern South America, it gets a bit more colorful for some areas such as the western section of Colombia, the Pacific coast. We can see that some decent rainfall is possible there. Things a bit drier as we head further inland and towards the Caribbean coast as well as for much of Venezuela and over in the western portion of Guyana. But in eastern Guyana, Suriname and French Guiana, there could be some substantial rainfall there as well. And with these periods of heavy rainfall, that can trigger flooding. So please be mindful of that, uh, that potential flood threat in the Guyanas. Now, as we go on to this wind map from Euro here, we can see the shades of purples and these blues popping up as well. So as I said, it's been quite windy across the region for many of us across the Lesser Antilles, including the ABC Islands, the Greater Antilles as well, Jamaica, going towards uh, the Cayman Islands, Cuba, parts of Hispaniola, up into sections of the Bahamas, especially the Northern Bahamas, and potentially for the Caribbean coast of Central America, in the vicinity of the Bay Islands of Honduras right there. We can see these blue spots and up into the Gulf. But again, we'll be looking at that more in a moment. Now, with these stronger winds across the Caribbean, those seas are also a bit rougher. And this is what is expected as we head into later this evening. So we can see a lot of these shades of greens and some yellows even popping up. So these wave heights could be up to around 7, 8, 9 feet, up to even 10 across some areas offshore of Colombia and even some of those uh, rougher seas on the Atlantic side of the Lesser Antilles. But uh, for much of Barbados, as we can see, Barbados is fully in the Atlantic Ocean. So pretty rough along the Gulf Coast states and well out into the Atlantic. Bermuda 
we're seeing those red and these orange shadings nearby so c is up to say around 13 feet or even a bit higher than that within the area now let's go on to the u.s here we can see the satellite imagery we can see this storm system developing and all this thunderstorm activity a lot of convection here so uh, the white dots they indicate lightning strikes and we can also see some activity moving into parts of canada as well as the northwestern states of the u.s the pacific northwest and uh with all of this activity developing it's only going to be getting worse as we head through the rest of this evening headed into tonight and as such there is that threat of tornadoes and uh, we're looking at the severe weather outlook here from the storm prediction center we can see this shaded brown area which represents the highest chance of severe weather so these tornadoes are definitely possible and the storm prediction center is stating that there could be isolated large hail across some of these areas scattered damage and wind some hurricane force and hurricane force is basically 74 miles per hour or stronger than that and a few intense tornadoes that's uh, definitely going to be possible and the locations we've got southern louisiana southern mississippi southeast texas going towards southern alabama and the florida panhandle so since this threat is going to be shifting to uh, areas further east as we head into tomorrow this is the outlook we can see that enhanced risk for portions of alabama for much of northern florida headed towards georgia and the carolinas as well so that is what is expected guys as this winter storm battles through and also with that there is going to be a lot of heavy rain so this is already affecting some areas and we can see these spots of purples and even some pinks popping up as well so rainfall uh totals up to around three four inches across some spots i wouldn't be surprised if it's even higher within some isolated areas however as we head towards the middle of the week, this storm system should be out. And while exiting, the associated front may bring impacts to portions of the northwestern Caribbean, such as the Yucatan and even for Cuba as well, and even for the northern Bahamas. So there could be that chance of some increased rainfall, even uh, those rougher seas as well, while the front makes its way by. However, I want to take you guys to the forecast here from the GFS model. So this is as we're going to be heading through the next couple of days. And when you're seeing these blue shadings, that is indicating snow, the greens, and with that yellow, red, and orange within the mix indicate rainfall. So this is as we head into tomorrow, we can see that major storm system making its way to the northeast and moving out. But then as we're going to be closing the week, there is yet another storm system which is expected, which, uh, which could be something a bit similar to what is currently going on and what will happen over the course of the next day or two so we'll definitely have to be keeping our eyes on what is going on there and if you're being affected by these if you're in the u.s please stay cautious do not take any unnecessary risks especially if you're in any of the aforementioned areas with the highest threat of those tornadoes the enhanced risk so please stay safe and with the damage and winds there could be some down uh, trees and that can pose a problem and uh, with that there's also likely to be some power outages so please stay safe guys uh, listen to the updates from your local weather service and i'll be keeping you posted as per usual so again you can go ahead and check out my latest post to my second channel the link is in the pinned comment and that is it for right now so i really hope that you found this video to be quite informative and if you have any questions you can go ahead and leave them down below in the comments i'll respond when i get the chance to do so and remember to always be with the wise